What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you the best NBA 2K23 sniping filters that will make you lots of MT. So firstly, we're going to go down to colour, set that to dark matter, and find the cheapest card on your auction house. So right now it looks like it's around, let's see, well it's going down. Yeah, so 3.8, maybe 3.75. Oh, even 3.65. Okay, so, and what we're going to want to go do is set it down to about 3.1000 and snipe any dark matter card that you see on this filter. This filter has also been pretty hot recently with heaps of people just throwing up the dark matters that they get out of the um, end game packs so I would definitely try to give this a try for the next filter it's going to be a new one so you set your theme to invincible you set your division to pacific and you go down and find the cheapest pacific card I'm pretty sure it's around wait, 30,000 MT. Yep, 30,000. Over this, yep. So, what I would do, I would probably work a scroll on this. Oop. I'll probably work a scroll on this filter because, and just pick up Carl Kuzma for like 26,000 MT. Because you can see cards like, let me show you. You can also see Devin Booker, obviously Carl Kuzma, who else also, Clay Thompson, Magic Johnson, Anthony Davis, and Shaq. So you can see all those cards on this filter. So I'll definitely work a scroll, which will give you a higher chance of seeing all those cards worth more value. But I'll just only pick up Carl Kuzma for around 2.6 thousand MT and put them back up for 30,000 to 31,000 MT. That'll get you a couple thousand profit. This next filter is going to be very similar, so you want to keep your theme on Invincible. This time you set your division to Southeast. I'll show you the cards you can see on this filter. So you can see Penny Hardaway and Lamello Ball and T Mac. So then you're gonna want to go and find the cheapest penny. Yep, so it's around 40,000 MT. Could maybe just set it to around yeah forty two thousand. Well, what's it set? Well, at least work a two scroll on this filter because it's not gonna really be contested that much, and having a scroll will make it a better chance of seeing those other cards like T Mac and Lamelo Ball, which can make you lots and lots of profit if you do see them on this filter. So next filter you're just going to go in here and set your theme to invincible once again and this time you're only going to go and look for the cheapest invincible. So it will be around 22,000 MT. So 
as always I would just work a scroll on this filter I would so and also I would only snipe Drazen for around 18k if you sell them for 2.1k and I'll, and Ricky Davis I would get him for also like 19 to 18,000 MT because he's only like 22,000 sometimes 23,000 so yeah you could just set it down to like 19,000 make sure you're getting profit for every card that comes up on this filter which is also really good but yeah I just like working scrolls because that has also got me lots of other snipes that have made me lots of profit okay so the next filter it's going to be for Jonathan Bender, but since his name's glitched, you're going to go here, set your theme to small forward, or position to small forward, colour to dark matter, and team to paces. Then, oh, you're going to go on here, find the cheapest Jonathan Bender at the time. So it's gone down a little bit since I've last checked. Let's try go 5k. Is he still there? Oh, jeez. Huh. This will be even a bigger of a budget filter now. Oh, yeah. So he's around 4.5 thousand MT. So, I would go set max buyout to like 3.4k and try to snipe anything that comes up on here. Or any Jonathan Bender that comes up on here. I'm pretty, actually, there might even be a Invincible on oh, no. there thought that was, sorry. So now, yeah, just snipe. All the Jonathan Bent is, oh, that's why, oh look. <laughs> sorry, was it on? Yeah, so if you even get lucky, you'll see Danny Granger for like 3.4K, which is what I want to set it to, maximum buy at 3. 4k and snipe all the Jonathan Benders that come up on here. I'll make you a couple hundred profit, but this is just a little budget filter, like the Dark Matter cheapest. Okay, for the next filter, we're going to go set our theme to end game. We find the cheapest end game at the time. Oh, a little bit up in price. Yep, so he's like 92,000 MT. So then what you're going to want to go do is go set this down. So, 83 to around 80,000 MT and snipe all the end games that pop, pop up on here. Also, this filter can be very good at times because if you get lucky you can see cards like Bol Bol, Michael Jordan, KD and cards like that. 
but what's mainly going to be popping up on this filter is J.R. Smith, and at the time of me recording this, yeah, he's around 92,000 MT. So for the next and final filter, we're going to want to keep our theme on end game, but set our division to central. And if I take off this max buyout, we can look at the cards that are on here. So you can see Michael Jordan, Paul George, LeBron James, and yep, Kareem as well, and Giannis. So all of those cards you can see on this filter. So just theme and game, division central, minimum buyout to 500. And all of these end games will be guaranteed to make you profit. But as time goes on a little bit, I would start to get a little bit cautious of Paul George because his price hasn't been reaching too high, but still probably a snipe at the moment. Yep, so I would snipe any of these cards, and I would definitely recommend this filter because it can get you hundreds of thousands of MT profit if you see a card on here. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching, um, throw up a sub as well, and I'll see you next time, peace.